Okay, we're going to begin with breaking news out of Chad, where the army's announced President Idris Deby has been killed. The army says he was leading soldiers fighting rebels on the front line. Deby had just won re-election and was one of Africa's longest-serving leaders. Hiba Morgan's joining us now live from Chad's capital in Jama. Hiba, what more do we know about what's been happening? Well, Rob, what we do have right now is a statement that came from the army itself, which is that uh, President Debbie, who's been running the country for more than 30 years and who was set to lead it for another five years, passed away from injuries he sustained over the weekend in the fight between the government forces and the rebel group known as the Front for Change and Concord in the northern region of Kanem. Now, let's go back to how this all unfolded. On April 11th, on the day of the election, uh, where Debbie was running for a sixth term, uh, the rebels came in from Libya, where they have a non-aggression pact with the uh, Libyan warlord Khalifa Haftar and launch an attack on a government station at the border region of Tibesti. And then they went on to advance until they reached the region of Kanem, which is about 300 kilometers from the capital in Jamena. Now, the statement from the army at the time was that they had launched airstrikes against the rebel groups to prevent them from advancing uh, to the region of Kanem, which is where they were able to reach up until on Saturday uh, of just this weekend. Uh, the the government then went on to assure the citizens who were panicking here in the capital in Jamena that everything was okay and that there was no need to concern and that the rebels will not reach the capital like they had announced. And we also know that uh, President Debbie himself went to the front lines along with top army officials to uh, lead the battles against uh, the group uh, and announced later that at least 300 were killed and more than 140 were captured while the rest fled and were being uh, pursued by the government military. Now, we hadn't heard from Debbie. Uh, over the weekend. We didn't hear from him yesterday as well on the day that the uh, National Electoral Commission announced that he had won the uh, election by nearly 80%. Uh, we, we were expecting to hear a statement from him uh, to, uh, to, to assure his supporters and to uh, basically welcome the results of the National Electoral Commission. That now will not be happening. We know that uh, we just learned from the army that he had sustained injuries during the battles over the weekend, and those were the reasons, and the, ba the, the injuries were the reasons why he passed away. So he will not be leaving the country for the next five years. Mm.